There's a gap in your marketing plan, and it means the difference between being a thriving dental practice and one that's barely making ends meet. Dentists who are frustrated with their collections, who are not attracting the right kinds of patients, or who want to attract more and better patients, need to hear this message. I'll have more after the break. Colin here, and welcome to the Patient Attraction Podcast. Now, I want to start today by dropping a giant truth bomb on you. You're marketing to the wrong type of patients, and it's getting you nowhere. Now, you may not be unhappy with the number of new patients that you're drawing, but ask yourself if those are really the type of patients that you want to attract. There's a trend that I see where dentists love to market to millennials and young people. And I certainly understand the desire. Millennials are tech savvy. They can appreciate a great looking website or a great digital marketing campaign. But the key word here is appreciate. That appreciation typically does not extend to their wallet. Marketing to millennials is insanity and the equivalent of throwing away your money, flushing that money right down the toilet. And the reason here is very simple. Millennials don't have disposable income to help you grow your dental practice. Now, there is one group out there, however, that blows millennials' buying power straight up out of the water, and that's your baby boomers. Baby boomers control more than 70% of the disposable income in this country. And by 2017, half of the U.S. population is going to be 50 years or older. Most dentists that I speak with, they stay awake at night worrying about insurance companies and reimbursements and the invasion of corporate dentistry. And unfortunately, those same dentists can't figure out which patients are going to help grow their practice. Now, let me put it bluntly. You'd have to have a screw loose to think that marketing to millennials is going to come close to bringing you the same results as marketing to baby boomers. For one, millennials and younger patients, they're price shoppers. Price shoppers are the least loyal customers on the face of the earth. You're no different to them than any other dentist right down the street. Once they find a better offer, potential savings, they're going to jump ship and they're going to join another practice. And I use the word join loosely. They're going to visit another practice. People with disposable income purchase in a much different way. They desire quality and ultimately they're very willing to pay for it. Our successful dentists, traditionally, they're not churning out drill and fill case after case after case. We've helped them focus their dental marketing efforts on the right demographic, which leads ultimately to more profits and more freedom from the dental practice. Now imagine treating the patients that you want and enjoying more free time outside the office. And then ask yourself if your marketing efforts mirror that dream. I'm betting you might have a little bit of work to do. Now, if you want to see how my father, Dr. Ron Receiver, increased his collections from 900000 to more than $2 million without selling like a used car salesman, check out DoubleCollectionsWithoutSelling.com. Join us tomorrow for a podcast you're not going to want to miss about how your employees set the image of your dental practice. Until then, keep moving forward. Whoa.